Merry Christmas you guys! Hey it's Keegan, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my what I got for Christmas video. Today's Christmas. Disclaimer, not trying to brag. Christmas is not about getting presents, but like these videos are really fun to watch, so of course I wanted to do one. I watch these videos like in July, so I really wanted to do one. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, and if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm doing giveaways soon over there, so go follow me. I will link all my other what I got for Christmas videos down below, but I always like to start off with my stocking. This is my stocking. She's cute. She's fluffy. She has bells. So my mom, Santa, I don't, Santa, sorry, Santa, Santa, close family friend of mine, told me that Santa accidentally didn't realize that Santa got too much stuff for my stocking. So we have a bag of other stocking stuff. I'm just going to go through this. First thing we got is from Philosophy. This is the Christmas cookie body wash. It smells so good. Thank you, Santa. Also got some deodorant. This is the Secret Cool Lily deodorant. Can you hear the bell? Should I just like dump it out? Another thing we got is this Christmas candy cane candle from Bath and Body Works. Absolutely incredible. I don't know how they make these smell identical to candy canes. I'm not 21 yet, so I guess I'll have to wait, but I got some shooters. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. I've never tried these. Obviously, I'm not 21. Raspberry flavored vodka, and then we have some cherry flavored vodka, and then we have some pink Whitney, so. Thanks, Santa. I also got some pens and some pencils. These are the best pens and pencils in the entire world. Some warm vanilla sugar. I'm on too much of a sugar high that my mind is going so fast that I can't think. Warm vanilla sugar hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. And then I also got a Starbucks gift card. Nice. Okay. And then I also got some sticky notes. I use sticky notes for literally everything. So I'm so glad that I got some because I was actually thinking last night how I needed some. And then I got a Jamba Juice gift card. I also got some more sticky notes. These are like little page tabs. And then these are just some like cute printed sticky notes. Oh, more sticky notes. Candy. Let's talk. Let's chat. These are the Reese's trees. You cannot convince me that anything is better than these in the entire world. These are superior, so superior to the regular Reese's. Let me know if you agree, but these things are elite. Nothing compares. Stress Relief Bath & Body Works. This is so freaking cute. It's a crushed candy cane hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. The little sand, like we match. Me and the hand sanitizer are twinning right now. How cute. I also got some more little hand lotions. I'm glad because I needed some hand lotions. Ginge Ham? I don't think that's it. This is a hyaluronic acid hydrating cream. Rose water. So some Bath & Body Works. Ooh, okay. So this, oh my gosh. Guys, this is the best stuff ever. I asked for this. This is a four pack of chapstick, but I really wanted this. This is Dr. Dan's. Corti Balm Chapstick. This is like for clinically dry lips. It's made. It's hypoallergenic. Cool. It's really great for cold sores. It's treatment for severe chapped lips when nothing else works. There's hyaluronic acid. No, not hyaluronic acid. Hydrocortisone in it. This is made by a dermatologist. So most chapsticks actually have ingredients that dry out your lips. So you need to keep buying the chapstick. Smart business model. Horrible for your lips. Oh, this is not what I expected Dr. Dan to look like. And it's really great. It's like the most hydrating lip balm ever. Amazon. Check it out. <laughs> Other stuff from my bag stocking. This is so funny my mom got this no santa got this oh god towel for you. i live in an apartment in college so it says whisk takers and at first i was like i don't get it and then i was like oh whisk takers it's cute it has like a little like a kitchen aid kind of thing on it and now we're going into the candy we got some M peanut m ms this i really wanted this holds your sd card so for like my youtube videos i have a ton of sd cards i used to hold them in a mint container and i was constantly terrified someone would throw them away i wanted to get this also got some really cute socks old navy cheetah print you can never go wrong with socks this i'm really excited for it's an under eye mask. It has collagen in it. I have the worst dark circles ever. I have not been sleeping well recently. I also got this. This is like so cute. I'm a Pisces. So it says like little things that you are. It says I'm popular. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. Oh, I'm generous. That's so nice. I'm, I'm like flattered. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is a, oh my gosh. Wow. Santa really went all, these are expensive. This is a Mophie portable charger. It's pink. The cutest color ever. 29 hours of charging time on this. My phone always dies. I also got some dry shampoo from from Lange. We also got the Reese's Holiday Lights, also elite. This guy, the Hershey's, he's amazing. I am so excited for this. The Sour Patch Kids ornament, so it's just the green and red, and they're shaped like little balls. That is, I am so excited for this. I'm gonna eat all of that immediately after I'm done filming. Hershey Kisses. I wanna make more of those like Hershey Kiss peanut butter cookies. Ooh. I also have Vanilla Bean Noel and then another tree, because you can't go wrong with the Reese's trees. Those are like my favorite things ever. That's what I was in my stocking because I have two. Thanks, Santa. I also wanted to start with what I got on Christmas Eve. My family has a tradition where we open one present on Christmas Eve and it's always pajamas. And I told my mom, I was like, I have so many pajamas. I don't want you wasting your money. So she got me workout clothes because she was like, I want you to open something. So this is just like a little pink shirt that says be kind. And then she got me some little black running shorts. Thanks, mom. Okay, so what should we go with first? I don't know where to start. I put everything in this basket. I wanted this basket. It's from Amazon because I have a ton of throw pillows and I wanted some 
somewhere to just put my throw pillows in. Got this basket. And then in the basket, I put all my presents. I got this really cute workout top. It's kind of like a sports bra tank top. So cute. I think the pattern is adorable. Love her. I also got this set. This is like the cutest little set ever. My roommate has it and I totally copied her, but that's okay. And it is so cute. It kind of has like a ribbing material. It also came with a scrunchie. I don't know if that was intentional or if they accidentally added the scrunchie, but really cute set. I also really wanted like a zip up hoodie. I've been wearing the same zip up hoodie that I got when I was a sophomore in high school. Now I'm a junior in college. So I need a new one. So this is just like a cute little gray soft one. Oh, it's so soft on the inside. These are all from my mom, by the way. Thank you, mom. And then I also wanted some, these are so soft. I didn't realize how soft these would be. Wow, these are so soft. They're by Ed Wood Deuce. <laughs> That's definitely not how you pronounce it. Oh my gosh. It has pockets too. So like you really you can't go wrong. I want more of these. I haven't even tried them on, but I already want more of them. My dogs got me this. I really wanted pre-workout. I really love the Alani new one. I have the Hawaiian shaved ice flavor and I wanted to try the Breezeberry, which is this one. My mom accidentally bought the Hawaiian one. Apparently it was really expensive to return it and they wouldn't like cancel her order. So I caught both. So thank you to my dogs and my mom. Every year we always get like a little razor set because like when you get older it's just nice getting things that you like have to pay for that you don't want to pay for so this is a hydro skill silk and yeah it's a great deal there's a lot of really good stuff i wonder if it's at costco maybe oh this is another workout top that i got so cute oh my gosh it's like the cutest like little like a little bit paler of a bubblegum pink color she's just so cute i love her my sister got me this i really wanted stovetop cleaner so she got me stovetop cleaner and then sponge thing that goes with it i live in a college apartment the stove is disgusting obviously it's a college apartment it's just like a gross apartment in general i wanted to get this so it would be like clean because it drives me insane and that's what happens when you get older. You want stove top cleaner for Christmas. She also got me Febreze because I've asked for Febreze. She also got me this little tripod I wanted. I don't know why it came with a little guy, but it did. The reason I wanted it is because it flattens so much. Can you see? It flattens because I want it in my car. Oh, she also got me something else. Got me this set. This is kitchen tool stainless steel. Apparently it's from Costco. Some really nice kitchen little... Guys, this is from my mom. I wanted this dashboard camera. So this is like a little camera that you can put on your dashboard in your car and you can record the view of you driving. I thought that would be so cool for the vlog. So if I'm going somewhere, you guys can see my view of me driving and we can do like a quick little time lapse of it. And I just thought that would be so fun. So I really wanted to get this and I'm really excited. It's so small compared to my face. Look how small it is. I'm really excited for it. I have an Apple Watch. I got it two years ago for Christmas and I love it, but I hated the band. Every time I would sweat, all the sweat would like sit under it. So I'm really good at having a scrunchie on my wrist but having that apple watch band was so annoying so i asked for this scrunchy apple watch band it's amazing it literally it fits my wrist perfectly it's like so smooth i just i love it i like wish that i would have asked for it two years ago oh my gosh i'm obsessed with it i have an air fryer and i wanted these like non-stick mats for your air fryer my mom's husband's parents got me like a little gift card and they also got me this little cute ornament a little gingerbread man he's so cute oh this is also another thing that i asked for it's a camera my vlog camera the battery charger because i I broke mine. That's been so fun. I asked for this wallet. My sister got this for me. I wanted a small wallet for my purse. My sister was like, I don't think that's what you wanted. And I was like, this is the best candle in the entire world. Champagne toast. If I could smell like anything in the entire world, this is this is my personality in a candle. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, I got this little AirPod case. I have my AirPods in here. I always lose them. So I was like, maybe if I have a case, it will be harder to lose them because they'll be colorful. My mom's like, are you sure you wanted that color? And I was like, yeah. I feel like Kim Kardashian would have an AirPod case this color. Like it's a very neutral nude. It's so cute. Look at how cute. Love that. But it also came with like a little keychain too, which is great. Love. How cute is it? My sister got me this. I, I made this big deal. I had this concealer in my makeup collection and my mom stole it from me. She didn't like ask for it. Oh, I was like, mom, that's not cool. So my sister bought it for me because my mom stole it. Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in number three. Another thing that I asked for, stain remover for my clothes. So I ran out. I asked for some. This is so funny. This is the last thing that I opened and normally my family, we always try to wait for like the biggest gift towards the end, but this ended up being the last gift that I opened. And my mom was like, I'm so sorry that your last gift was socks and I was like mom's was the last present and I was like I really hope these are socks because I really need socks sure enough they were socks and I was like Mom, don't even worry about it because I was really happy that they were socks because I don't want to have to buy socks for myself. This is also another thing that my mom got. She got everyone in my family this. These are these scissors. They kind of look like weed. Whacker. 
No. But apparently they're like, they're very multi-purpose. You can like cut chicken with them, raw chicken. They're apparently that sharp. And it was really great because we actually use these to like open some of our presents, like the boxes. So it just, it worked out great. My mom was like, I'm going to give you guys scissors every year. And I was like, okay, mom. I have an iPad and an Apple Pencil and my Apple Pencil has a case on it. And my iPad case, it has a little spot right here for your Apple Pencil, but my Apple Pencil has a case on it again. And so I asked for this little thing right here that you just stick onto your case and it's like a little Apple Pencil holder so I can stop losing my Apple Pencil. This thing I'm really excited for too. This was like a very last minute gift that I asked for. I asked my mom to buy me tennis balls and socks. I went to this doctor recently and she told me that I have so much neck pain. It's insane. She's like, you live in a constant state of pain. And I was like, thank God someone understands. She told me to put two tennis balls and a pair of socks and to like put it at the base of your neck and lay on it and it will release a lot of tension. And if you have pinched nerve, it will release that. I was like, mom, please. Oh, she got me that. So thank you so much, mom. And then the very last thing that I really wanted was this. So this is kind of like a family thing. My mom's Oh my gosh, great grandpa, so my great great grandpa was born 1871, very old man, he died. His name was Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. No, just kidding. He wrote this autobiography. He's the one who like immigrated from, I always thought it was Germany, but I guess it's not Germany. Was it, it says, it, um, did he, why did he not say where he lived? I don't know, it, it said where he lived and then I forgot what country it was. He wrote this autobiography about like his life story essentially. And my mom had told me about it one time when I was in like elementary school and I recently remembered it and so I was like, mom, I kind of want that because someone in her family made a ton of copies. So she reached out to like her aunts and uncles and she got copies of it. So basically this is the copy of the original book. So like this is his handwriting. He wrote this in January 8th, 1955 and he was born in 1871. But my mom, amazing woman, she transcribed it. It's kind of hard to read. It's in English, but you know, old people have like the really fancy cursive handwriting and sometimes you're like, what? She is amazing and she transcribed it and typed it. One thing that she did that was like the coolest thing ever, she emailed us like the PDF to this and it has all of the links on it. So basically every person that he talked about, she had like a link to it to where you could find like the, what's it called, like obituary from like when they died. Also like the town so you could like learn about that. She put so much thought into this and she also gave it to my sister. And at the very end, she put all the people's obituaries like where my family died and like all of their children. So like she put even my grandpa who passed away is in here. Go on forever. This just means so much to me and this is just like amazing that she did this. This is my grandpa right here. That's his tombstone. Great man. This was just something really special that I wanted and this is definitely my favorite present that I got. But anyway, that is everything that I got for Christmas. I hope that you guys liked this video. Again, not trying to brag at all. I love you all. I hope that you guys are having an amazing Christmas. If you're not subscribed, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.